Up next, it's uh, Truth or Fake. Time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm pleased to say I'm here in the studio with Catalina Marchand de Abreu. Nice to see you, Catalina. Let's begin by talking about the First Lady, Jill Biden, who has been the constant target of uh, misinformation online. Uh, and our first story uh, relates to an altered video during a book reading. What's all this about? As you all said, the First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, has been a constant target of misinformation on social media. It's no surprise that this type of misinformation comes from pro-Trump accounts or anti-Biden accounts like this one that says, let's go Brandon, which is the pejorative name for Joe Biden on a line. Uh, this is our first example of this type of misinformation where Jill Biden is allegedly in a, a book reading and a kid allegedly tells her to be quiet in a less a polite manner. Uh, here it says, kid yells, shut the F up at Jill Biden's book reading. Here, this user says a kid yells at Jill Biden just as she begins uh, to read them. 240,000 views online. This uh, account, Il Donaldo Trumpo, 850,000 views online. And here, more than 11,000 views online, just to get an idea of the outreach that this video has had on a social media, Tom. But let's take a, a short look at this video online. So I wrote this book to tell other kids, because there's lots of kids who Shut don't know so the original video was from this book reading to a second grade class from Waldorf, Maryland from November 29th. She was reading her book, Don't Forget God Bless Our Troops. Uh, but how did we find out where the original video came from? We used the uh, fake news debunker tool from Invid. We verify our observers journalist, Catherine Bennett, has the explanation for us. We're going to use the free tool Invid We Verify to find the original video. Take the video's URL from Twitter and paste it into the app. It gives you some screen captures. If you click on them, that will take you to a list of pages that repeat the same claim. But there is one article that talks about Biden's Christmas event with the children, and it has the original video. So I wrote this book to tell other kids, because there's lots of kids who don't know what it's like to be a military kid, right? Or to have somebody in the military. So you can see in the original video, there's no kid shouting at Jill Biden during this book reading. And the original video of the kid shouting is on this video on YouTube from 2019. A kid tells teachers to shut up. Um, and you can find this through a simple Google search online, Tom. Okay, so they use the audio of one on the video of the of other, Joe and Biden. that's the result. Okay, so we've established that's a fake story. There's a Photoshop image as well of Jill Biden doing the rounds. It shows the White House at Christmas decor this year. Tell us a bit more. Yes, there's a photo of Jill Biden allegedly showing this year's Christmas decor in the White House. She is allegedly wearing all a black, and many were outraged by this. Perhaps all black wasn't a... Uh, uh, appropriate choice for the occasion. Uh, there's this tweet, for example, uh, you couldn't find a single nice thing to say about Melania's decorations, but you're bending over backwards to praise this. And here you have the picture where she's wearing all black. Other users said, and she's dressed like a backup dancer, uh, decorum class, this person comparing her to Melania Trump, who looked like an angel dressed all in white. But how did we find out where this uh, original photo came from? We use the app Google Lens, and once again, our journalist, Catherine Bennett, has the explanation for us. Well, to verify this, we're going to use Google Lens. When you upload the photo, you already get the image of the decorations, but without Jill Biden. So it's probably a Photoshop job. You can adjust the photo to just search one part of the image. Let's crop around Jill Biden so we can just do a search for that image of her. And here you are. You can see pictures of her in that exact outfit in April 2021, when she had just got off an aeroplane at the Andrews Air Force Base in Washington. This image of her was added to the White House Christmas photo afterwards in order to drum up outrage online. So she well explained, Tom, this photo was altered to create outrage online, mostly from pro-Trump supporters doing sketchy things on social media, Tom. Well, thank you for establishing the truth for us. Catalina Marchand de Abreu, thank you very much indeed. That was today's Truth or Fake.
I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Do stay tuned.